When we think of worship, what biblical images and lessons come to mind? Moses and the Israelites at Mount Sinai in Exodus 20. David dancing before the Lord in Samuel 6. The psalmist writing songs of praise to God all throughout the Psalms. God desiring our hearts rather than lip service in Isaiah 29. The Magi kneeling before the Christ child in Matthew 2. Jesus in the wilderness in Matthew chapter 4. Jesus on the mountain of transfiguration, Matthew 17, Mark 9, and Luke 9. The woman at the well, worship on this mountain or worship in spirit and in truth? Being transformed by the renewing of our minds in Romans 12. Giving praise, glory, and thanks to God forever. 1 Timothy, Revelation, and throughout the scriptures. Of all the images and stories that may come to mind, Psalm 100 is a great reminder of what it is to worship the Lord. Let's listen now to the words of the psalmist. All lands summoned to praise God in a psalm of thanksgiving. Make a joyful noise to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come into God's presence with singing. Know that the Lord is God. It is he that made us and we are his. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. For the Lord is good. His steadfast love endures forever and his faithfulness to all generations. Our verse of the day is that first verse, Psalm 100, verse 1. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Whether or not you would say that you can sing, you can definitely make a joyful noise. Think of the sound that you make when you embrace a beloved family member you haven't seen for a long time. Or when your team scores the winning points. Or when you've had enough to eat at the holidays. Whether it's, I'm so glad to see you, or... Ole, 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 or a deep sigh of satisfaction. Ah, we can all make a joyful noise. I encourage you to do that today in worshiping the Lord, to be grateful with awe, wonder, reverence, and gratitude, to see all the ways that God is at work, to shout a loud whoop at God's generosity and deliverance, to experience the deep ah of a soul satisfied with God's presence and goodness. Wherever you are in God's wide earth today, friend, take time to be with your Lord, time to pray and to love your neighbor, to worship the Lord with gladness. Let us pray. Loving God, we thank you that we can make a joyful noise wherever we are. Let the whole earth resound with your glory. We pray in the name of your Son who loves us, and because you dance over us with singing. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen.